Well, good evening, Glen Rothes Baptist Church. It's Gavin here with you tonight. I uh, hope you're doing well on this first full week of the school summer holidays. Not quite sure we've had the summer weather quite yet. Uh, of course, that happened several weeks ago, so maybe that's it for this year. Do continue to add your name to the chat down the side. Let us know what you've been doing today. It's always encouraging to see everyone signing in and uh, just letting us know that you're watching tonight. Great to have you with us. Uh, this week we are in a, a slightly different week. Um, we're not having just uh, straight Bible study this week, but we're having updates on different ministries uh, at Glenrothes Baptist Church or ministries that we are linked with, uh, both locally and internationally as well. And it's been great to catch up over the last couple of nights with Eric and Ella and with Alexander last night as well. Um, just before we get on to the main focus for tonight, let me give you a wee update on where we are with our children's and youth work here uh, in the church. Since lockdown started with the, the youth, the, the high school age young people, we've been having a weekly uh, youth chat uh, where we've got together, we've uh, read from God's Word, we've played some games, we've had uh, some weeks where we had a mystery guest and interviewed them to find out about their life and their walk with uh, God. That's changing slightly over the summer holidays, not weekly for the next few weeks, but we are going to have special events on the 15th and 29th of July. So if you're in high school and if you're just moving into high school, into S1, then get in touch with me and I'll give you the details uh, for that. For the younger ones in primary school and nursery, we've had the Sunday school videos that have gone out uh, every week and we'll continue to do that over the summer holidays as well. Please do feedback, it's always great to hear from you uh, in relation to any of those things. But tonight uh, I'm on because we are thinking about children and young people but a little bit wider than our own church although still in the local area. Tonight our focus is, uh, focus is on GROW, the Glenrothes Regional Outreach Worker that we are involved with as a church and we'll hear more about them and how they seek to, to reach out to the children and young people of our town and share the gospel. But before we get into that, uh, the specifics of that, I want to read from uh, Romans chapter 10 this evening. Romans chapter 10, starting with verse 11. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how are they to call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Just a wee reminder as we start this evening that we want to tell all people everywhere from the furthest ends of the earth right down to our local area. We want to tell all people everywhere the good news of Jesus, that they might be saved. And so with that in mind, I've caught up with Jan Donaldson, uh, on part of the GROW management team, and uh, got an update on what's been happening with GROW recently. So have a watch of this interview. Well, excellent. It's great to welcome tonight uh, Jan Donaldson to join us. Uh, Jan is from the Salvation Army, but she's here tonight in her capacity as one of the GROW management team. So Jan, welcome. Thank you, it's good to be here. Excellent. It's always good to catch up with what's happening uh, with GROW. So there'll be some people watching that know loads about GROW and others that know basically nothing. So maybe we can start with the basics. Can you tell us 
what is Grow and how long has it been running for? Well, when I started my job with the Salvation Army in 2003, I got an email to ask if I would like to come along to a meeting um, regarding um, perhaps having a, a youth worker in the town to work in the schools. So I went along. It hadn't been running for very long at that time, but it was churches coming together, all sorts of denominations coming together just to um, explore the idea of having a youth worker for the schools. Um, so that kind of developed and, and as well as the churches, um, Scripture Union were involved as well and we gathered lots of information and we did lots of fundraising um, and also we had to look at a timetable as to when we would like to employ someone as a youth worker and so it kind of developed from there and in 2007, we employed our first GROW worker. Um, so that's how it all started. Um, but GROW is about having someone to go into the schools to present the gospel of Jesus. Um, we're not uh, sort of running youth clubs. It's not anything like that, although we help out at the churches. But really, it's to reach young people. And we felt that the schools was the that was the ideal place for um, sending someone in and just being able to engage with young people and staff in schools. Excellent. I haven't realised it was quite so long that things have been <laughs> up and running. Uh, excellent. So the aim is to share the good news of Jesus and uh, working with young people in school. What are maybe some of the, the specific ways that that work takes place? Um, well, it's all about relationship building. And from the start, there was relationships built with head teachers, with perhaps subject heads, with um, teachers that are in um, RE or uh, in all sorts of subjects. Um, being able to go in and do assemblies, classes, um, specific things about um, perhaps um, caring, about bullying, all those kinds of things that that um, we wanted to go in and um, build those relationships with. And that has worked really well. Um, each of our three workers that we've had with Grow Now has built on the last one and the relationships are really positive. And as well as that, they've worked together with the, the chaplains and the youth workers in the town. Um, so relationships have been built there as well. Um, partnerships, um, I know that in our community, St Margaret's, um, along with Oscar, have been going in and, and taking part in assemblies and, um, and also classes and also drop-ins as well. Um, and each of the high schools, there has been an expression of um, growing of, of scripture union. So that's been the really positive things. Um, it's not always been easy. Um, sometimes head teachers are not keen on you coming in, but it is about gaining their confidence and, and them allowing you to come in um, and be a part of the young people's lives. So um, that's really what we want to do. It's about reaching young people, and that's how we do it, is um, by doing these activities in schools. Brilliant. It has always been good over the years to hear of the different things that have happened, and, and it's great tonight to be reminded of what underlies all that, what the point of all that activity is. Um, Jan, you've obviously been involved from the start, more or less, um, have you got maybe a, a favourite moment or, or a story of how you've seen some of this in action? Um, I think it was a few years ago when Gwyneth was our grow worker and we took over um, a whole week in Ochmute High School. And I think you were involved as, as well in that, yeah. along yeah. with some other um, SU associate workers, um, other ministers in the town, um, other youth workers, other Christians, um, and to take over a whole year group um, for a whole week and the school allowed us to do that. And that was really exciting. And um, I think the highlight was that the young people were so enthusiastic going from activity to activity and discovering more things. And then they would see you in the street and they would, you know, oh, you're that lady that came and did. And 
Um, that was good as well that they recognised you. Um, that was my highlight and seeing those young people, but also working with other Christians who had a passion for spreading the gospel in the schools. Yeah, no, I, uh, was great. And I remember Jacob being involved in that week as well. So That's right, yes. Excellent time. Now, uh, coming more up to the present, obviously the, the COVID-19 lockdown has changed the way we've done everything in the last while. Um, has it been possible for GROW to do much or, or anything at this time? With the schools closing, um, there wasn't a lot that we could do, especially in the schools. We did um, have a look at if there was anything, especially with the hubs opening up. But to be honest, I think the education department, teachers, head teachers, um, I think their, their heads were fried trying to organise things. And for us to add to that would have just been another pressure. And so we looked at what GROW could do and we decided that in actual fact, it was best for us to furlough Oscar. Um, as you'll probably know, with child protection guidelines, we can't contact young people directly. We wouldn't have parental permission to do that. Um, so Oscar was furloughed along with other Scripture Union associate workers and a lot of the Scripture Union, other Scripture Union staff. So um, he's been on furlough for that time. Um, we've kept in touch to make sure he's OK and he's doing fine. Um, the other thing that happened just before lockdown was that Oscar um, had said that he had the opportunity to move on in his job and to become a youth worker in a church in Inverness. And it came as a bit of a shock, I have to say. However, um, he has such amazing skills in, in building relationships with young people and being able to um, present the gospel to young people that we, we know that that's where his gift lies and his passion lies. And this is a, an, an incredible opportunity for him to do that. And actually, when God calls you to a certain work, there's not much point in refusing. Um, you have to go at some point. And so it's time for Oscar to move on. Um, he feels that. And then we, you know, we allow him to go, obviously, with our blessing. Um, it has been a bit of a jumble. He should have been starting um, in August, but with um, lockdown and everything, we agreed with the church in Inverness that we would look at dates in the future that Oscar could move on to his new job and um, he would continue on furlough at the moment. So, yeah, it's um, it's had a, an impact on growing in a few ways. So, But it's been OK. Yeah, so change is coming. Um, things are still in early days of that, but are there any plans for the future? And maybe how can we at Glenrothes Baptist Church um, get involved with all that's happening? Well, um, in the past, um, the, the workers that we've had have brought different skills. And so there is quite a wide um, range of things that GROW has done in the past. And we want to look to the future. So in a few weeks time, we are holding a strategy meeting where we will look at where we've been, where we are and where the Lord is leading us to as well. Um, we'll look at um, the skill sets that we've had in the past um, and how effective that has been. Um, we'll look at where we would like to go in the future, as I've said. Um, so we're, we're really looking at what happens and also the sustainability of GROW as well. And um, for what people can do, for what Glenrothes Baptist people can do, we are always looking for new members of the management committee and also trustees. Um, and sometimes we say that and it kind of goes over people's head, but we really are looking for new people to come on board, people that have a heart for um, the gospel and for young people to receive that gospel and to know God in their lives. We're looking for people to come on board with that. It's good to get new people with new ideas as well. And that's, um, that's really um, one of our aims as well. The other thing that we're looking at is, um, you know, we have people with skills. We have people 
that can manage. We have people that are trustees at the moment, but actually our biggest resource is prayer. And so we would ask um, Glenrothes Baptist and the other churches to please pray. Um, you know, we, we need to pray about all things. Um, nothing happens effectively if we don't pray. Um, and in prayer, we know God's direction. In prayer, we know God's encouragement. In prayer, we can bring those hopes and also the concerns that we have. And in that time of listening as well, um, then God can reveal his plan for grow and for all that's to happen. So in the next couple of weeks, please pray for grow as a trust that the Lord will lead us further and that we'll hear his voice. Pray for Oscar, because um, although he's leaving and that seems all to be happening, there's still that uncertainty of not knowing when he's going to start his new position. Um, but please pray for our young people and the families that we have in Glenrothes. Um, these are especially challenging times um, and we know that, um, that God can do incredible work even through these challenging times. Um, young people need stability and actually the best stability they can get is having Jesus in their lives and God directing them. So pray that God will break through, that the Holy Spirit will really break through in our young people and our families um, and that they'll come to know a God that loves them and who's with them and supports them in all that's happening. Thank you very much for uh, all those prayer points, for updating us uh, as time of change, time of uh, seeking the Lord for the way forward. And uh, I know there will be lots of people listening that will seek to, to pray into all those things. So thank you uh, for joining us this evening. Thanks very much. It's always great to get an update, to catch up on where things are at. And it has been a, a tricky time for us all and for growth, as we heard. But let's just bring some of those things that Jan mentioned to the Lord in prayer uh, as we end our time together. So let's pray. Our God and Father, we thank you for the good news of Jesus. We thank you that everyone who calls on him will be saved. And, and we recognise the need for people to, to hear of him and able to be able to do that. So Lord, we pray for ourselves that you would help us to reach out to be people that talk about Jesus, who proclaim him to everyone uh, that we meet. Lord, pray particularly for Grow This Now. We thank you for that uh, group that uh, enables work to go on amongst the children and young people of our town. Lord, we thank you for all that's happened over uh, the past years. We thank you that you've been in that and you've led and guided. And now at this particular point, as um, Oscar is leaving, as the work wants to progress, Lord, we ask that you would really give direction at this point in time, that you would help the management group, the trustees, to know how you're leading and guiding in order that work can continue, can grow, can flourish and can be done in the best possible way. We pray for relationships uh, between uh, grow and the schools, the young people, uh, that they would flourish and be a real encouragement to many. Lord, we ask that you would lead and guide in all that's to come over these next weeks and months and years. Lord, we thank you for Oscar, who's been working for Grow for these last four years. We thank you for all that he's brought to that role, for the many children and young people that he's spent time chatting with and speaking to about you. We thank you for the many volunteers that have been a part of that as well and ask that you bless them. Now we pray for Oscar as he moves on to a new role that you would equip him and help him to continue to proclaim you in this new context as he works uh, for a church up in the Inverness. The Lord especially this now we want to pray for children and young people. We know that everyone has been affected by this lockdown, by this uh, Covid situation. But we pray particularly for young people as they've been thrown out of the norm, as they've uh, had to cope and adapt. Lord, we ask 
that you would help them in that. We pray for families, that you would bless them and encourage them. That not just bad will come out of this, but good will as well. We know that many questions will be thrown up. Lord, we ask that children and young people would look to find the answers in you. That you would really uh, be the one they reach out for and lean on in this situation. That they would uh, trust in you. They would know you and follow you and serve you. Lord, we pray that for the children we know. We pray that for the children of our town. And we ask that as your people, you'd help us to shine as lights that we might point to Jesus. So Lord, we bring these things to you now. We pray too for those in our congregation that are struggling. We ask that you bless them. We thank you that you hear and answer our prayers. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. It's been great to have you with us. And we'll see you again tomorrow night at 7. Bye-bye.